just wanted to introduce myself. Uh, my name is John Mahoney, and uh, I'm a 2D artist. And I've uh, fortunately made the switch over to 3D, and I've been uh, focused on ZBrush ever since. Um, as you can see, I did a lot of 2D work in the past, but I always wanted to have things move around and twist around and things like that. And the flat image always made me feel a little... I just wanted things to move. I wanted to be able to see it in multiple angles and things like that. So then, then that kind of led me to sculpture. I started doing 3D sculpture, which was great, a lot of fun, awesome. But I started running out of space in my house for sculptures. You know, my kitchen cabinets were covered with them and everything. There's, there's just no space for that. So I wanted to try to find something that was kind of a happy hybrid between illustration and sculpture. And uh, when I started messing around with ZBrush, I found this really nice kind of mixture of the two. So um, there's also something I like to play around with, which is called kit bash, where I take toys and glue them together and rust them and all that, which is something also you can do in ZBrush. So learning all those things about this tool, I said, I got to try it out. So, yeah, so when I first jumped into ZBrush, um, you know, virtual clay was this, this amazing thing. I liked it just simply because you can see um, exactly what you get while you're working. You don't have to wait for rendering, and you can kind of just see, you know, see the character come to life in front of you. It's pretty exciting. So I had my friend Masha pose for me for this. She was standing there, and I did a life sculpture, um, which worked out. Pretty darn cool. Um, the most important thing, though, is to uh, make sure that you sculpt symmetrically and then pose later. Um, that's the best way to do that. So anyway, here is uh, what I'm going to do next. So um, as you can see, you can repose uh, a character, either a character that you got in ZBrush, a character that you downloaded, or a character that you can create from scratch in the uh, program. So I wanted to just focus on a small part of her uh, figure. So I cut the legs off right here, added a sphere, and I'm creating a very simple, kind of like a 1960s style uh, space helmet, which is typical Mahoney stuff. I am incredibly lazy, so I'm just taking the space helmet, shrinking it down, and turning the space helmet into uh, shoulder pads. But what's really good about that is you can re repeat the shape language and then she has another floating orb in front of her which is also the space helmet and i'm dragging on some little packs and things which i always just love and in here if you look transparently you can see her head isn't that cool so um it's also influenced you can see a little bit by the original film alien um uh, mobius's awesome design and then i have these floating organs that i've made which is just these weird blobs and i just like having floating organs whenever i'm in space um so i figured yeah let me throw in some floating organs in there and then of course the space gun not necessarily a ray gun but i figured some kind of space gun so i just gave her just a basic machine gun um but yeah it's a lot of fun it's a lot of fun this is really basic 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 hard surface stuff but uh yeah it's pretty cool and then just messing around with her fingers, trying to get to sort of look like it's uh, on the gun. You know, it's, it works out okay, I guess. And then you could do turntables, just to show uh, what the character looks like um, with different materials, which is also kind of neat. And then I took the uh, a character into Keyshot and uh, started playing around with her in Keyshot. So the idea was to maybe try to take this character and turn her into uh, something that works for 2D uh, flat drawing. I wanted to try to see if I can replicate my drawing style in in 3D. So what I'm doing is uh, there's a little toon shader. We, a lot of us have already used toon shader. It's nothing new. But I really liked it a lot. And I felt like I was able to capture something that kind of looks like my drawing. So it's, it's pretty exciting. So here you can see I uh, created a, um, a green screen. So then I can just layer these into uh, Photoshop later and create these, these really interesting images. So in the next video, I'm actually going to show the whole Photoshop process of that. Okay, thanks for listening.